What's up guys and welcome to another video in Wild Kinetics. My name is Elam and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to build your own simple homemade popsicle catapult. If you haven't already, don't forget to drop a massive like on this video. Subscribe to the channel down below if you haven't already in order for me to keep posting more videos like this. And comment down below what you thought of the video and if you guys have any other video suggestions for me to do, I will be sure to take a look at those. Now without further ado, let's get started. So I had this idea from a physics project that we had to do, so I decided, well, why not uh, teach people how to make catapults because we're supposed to build our own uh, catapults for materials at home. And one of the materials uh, that was recommended was popsicle sticks. So here I have about 10 or so popsicle sticks, a spoon, and a hot glue gun. So this is all you're really going to uh, need for this project. That's why it's the simplest one to build, and it shouldn't take you too long to do. So first we're going to take three popsicle sticks right here and we're going to do like a little cross like so. It's going to be looking like this. You're going to make two of these. This, These are the, the sides, basically the sides of the catapult. So you want it to be like this. So I want it to look, you have a sort of an X and then you have your base piece down here. Um, you you want to have two of these, and when you make the first one, you want to put the second one on top to make sure that it's identical so that everything is the same for both sides. And on top of that, you want this little part right here to be narrower than this part down here. So you want the distance here to be smaller than the distance down here instead of having it just like an X here to kind of build the tower for your own catapult. So now you want to take your hot glue gun and glue these things together. Once they have finished drying up, um, this is what both of them should look like. They should be kind of sort of mirror images of each other. So the catapult is kind of sort of going to look like this in a way. How we're going to achieve this, we're going to put these popsicle sticks across, laying across here this way uh, to provide structure to the uh, catapult. We're just going to lay them across like this to make sure that they're all attached. We're going to place one right here and we're going to place one here at the bottom too. So just hot glue it perpendicular to the base. Once this thing is dried, which is still kind of drying, but it's okay if we keep on going, um, we're gonna attach the crossbar right here, which is going to kind of stop the spoon when it's uh, being launched, like this right here, um, more later on in the video. Um, so I'm just gonna basically glue those two pieces right there to provide again more structural rigidity in the entire catapult. This is what your catapult should look like so far. Uh, once you have done that, uh, you want to hot glue just one last structural piece, and that is right here in the front, uh, just to prevent it from uh, folding in like this, because this part is weak here. Now after we're done gluing this here, we're gonna glue in the uh, launching mechanism, and then we're probably gonna glue in like a couple popsicle sticks here for the stand of the catapult. Once this has finished drying, it's time to put in the launching mechanism, which is going to be this spoon right here. So this spoon is going to be around in this position right here. So when it fires, it's going to hit right here. It's going to hit this cross beam right here, which is going to 
stop this, but the projectile is going to keep launching, which means we have to put something right here that's going to basically hold it in place. So how we're going to do this is we're going to take, put this aside right here, we're going to take two popsicle sticks and put them like this right here to provide support for the spoon. And then we are going to place the spoon in between like so, and then glue these popsicle sticks, place the spoon in between, and then glue the spoon alongside the popsicle sticks for the launching mechanism. Next, we're gonna put it on the catapult when we're done with that. Once this is done drying, which it appears to almost be done, um, we're going to place it right here on our catapult. So we're going to feed the spoon through here. And then you want the, basically this neck of the spoon, if your spoon bends, right where your spoon stops bending, where it starts straightening it out, straightening out, that's where it should be. So around right here would be the ideal place. So then once, once you found that good spot where, where your spoon is, uh, it's time to glue it to your uh, glue it to your cap. Just glue the cross beam to your cap. Just a note: you want to make sure you put a, a substantial amount of glue right here in the joints to make sure that it doesn't pop off when you try to uh, launch it. So here's how it works. You pull it back like this and you launch it. There we go. Let's see. I have just a piece of hot glue right here left over. So you just place it in your spoon. Boom, it launches. It actually launches pretty far. It's time for a test run. 